Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Back here at the onion patch. And today I am smoking my Savinelli 2101. This was the very first Savinelli that I ever owned. And a couple of years ago, I sent this off to Cal Delta Piper. Steve. Uh, he had not had a Savinelli pipe at the time and um, I was full on into the 320s. So I sent him this one. And I gotta tell you, it's in much better shape now than it was when I sent it to him. But um, Steve recently sent this back to me uh, he said he is paring down his pipe collection focusing on certain styles of pipes and he wanted me to have this one back and I, I gotta say that I am thrilled to have it back and it has even more meaning to me now that he has owned it than it did previously uh, so it has a much more much more um, sentimental meaning to it, this pipe. Steve and I have become good friends. When, when I first started this channel, we were both working the same shifts and, and up at 2 a.m. in the morning, and we would text back and forth. So Steve and I became pretty close, and uh, I consider him family. But this video is a VR response to 13 Pipes, who did a video today talking about his favorite tobacco. And I happen to be smoking his favorite tobacco, Bob's Chocolate Flake, which is an incredible tobacco. But he asked what our favorite tobacco is. And what some of our favorite tobaccos have been in the past. Because, you know, you, you can have a favorite tobacco and it can change tomorrow. It can change, you know, two years from now. So, right now, for the past six, seven months or so, my favorite tobacco... is Gawith and Hogarth Black Irish Twist. I just cannot seem to get enough of that tobacco. I love it. I just love, love, love that tobacco. It's a strong, very flavorful uh, tobacco. To just has a taste all its own. As most of you know, have seen any, of, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love it. It tastes like charred steak when I smoke it. Um, that and Gawith's uh, Black Double X, pretty much the same thing. And uh, in fact, I would venture to say they are the same thing. Wonderful tobaccos. So that would be my favorite tobacco right now. Now in the past I've had other favorite tobaccos. Uh, there was a while there where Seattle Pipe Works, or Seattle Pipe Clubs, um, Mississippi River Special Reserve was my favorite tobacco and I loved that tobacco. And I probably would still be smoking that tobacco if it hadn't been for a uh, A medicine that I'm taking for my seizures which takes away all the sweetness the taste of sweetness and that tobacco lost all that sweet taste that it had and it just kind of I kind of lost interest in that after that and uh, I mean I still smoke it but it just doesn't have that same sweetness that natural sweetness from the tobaccos that it had before it was just a thick sweet 
tasting tobacco. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And prior to that uh, was 1Q. I was on a 1Q kick there for a long time where before I started getting out into Englishes and Virginias and stuff like that, I was all about 1Q. So your taste can change, your favorites can change. It's uh, nothing is set in stone here, and with all the choices we have, it's it's always good to try new things. Um, One of the things I'm having a lot of fun with is mixing Black Irish Twist with um, Peter Stokeby's PS41 and Gawith and Hogarth's Brown Irish Twist doing a black and tan. And those are delicious. Both of those are incredibly good. But right now, Black Irish Twist is, in, in my world, the undisputed champion. And uh, although this is Bob's Chocolate Flake, it is darn good stuff. And there's, you know, others I want to try, like Innerdale Flake is one that I want to try really bad. And uh, I want to give a, a try to some of the uh, real Lakeland blends that um, like Gawith and Hogarth has and stuff like that. But I keep hearing about Innerdale Flake. Everybody keeps telling me, try Innerdale Flake. So as soon as I can find that available... I'm going to get some of that. But I agree with 13 Pipes. This Bob's Chocolate Flake is a delicious tobacco. And uh, given the opportunity, I would smoke it every time I had the opportunity. It's not one that I, I would say, nah, I don't want to smoke that one. It's a really good tasting tobacco. So that's my VR to 13 pipes. Um, it's a good question. Uh, I, don't, I look forward to hearing other answers from other guys. And uh, maybe I can find some new tobaccos that way. I hope you all have a good one. Uh, it's good to be home. I miss Alaska, though. I do miss Alaska. That was something else. I will talk to you guys later. God bless. Have a good day.